All right, welcome everybody. It's going to be a recap of the trades here that we made um, this morning and also in Discord. Actually, I didn't have any trades coming into the opening. I actually didn't get anything on the E-mini S&P until later in the afternoon after 1 o'clock. Uh, almost, almost 2 o'clock, about a quarter till or so. Did finally get what we call an HF1 short. Okay, so an HF1 short, once again is a one of four different patterns <clears throat> that I look for. It is automatically displayed on my screens. And once I see that set up, then I look at another couple factors to see whether it's going to be a trade I want to look at. One of those is I'm watching volume, okay? So I want to see that volume coming in. Uh, the other thing I'm looking at is I'm looking at order flow, right? So I want to see some selling coming in. Uh, I don't see a lot more selling than I see buying coming in, right? Very similar to volume profile, market profile, those that are familiar with that. Uh, same kind of thing. So, but if I don't see it, okay, so I will hang out for a while and see if it comes in before I take a short on one of the patterns. So anyway, today was a really good day overall because I did have a nice little, what we call an HF1 short. Uh, like I said, I entered this and about a quarter till or so before 2 o'clock. I held this trade until it finally hit target. This was a single target. This is target number one. I went in and got out once again at uh, the first target. Why? Once again, running out of time. Now, if it came in earlier in the day, then maybe I would go ahead and look at some uh, lower targets that I had. But in this case, getting close to the day, I'm going to go for that first target. All right. Uh, let's see here. Let's see what else we trade. Let's pull up another chart. All right, so this is the second one I traded today. This was on the mini NASDAQ. Mini NASDAQ did come in a little bit earlier here. It came in about an hour after the opening. In this case, this was on HF2. Now, um, when I'm trading mini uh, NASDAQ, my targets tend to be a lot larger. So I really like You can really do well on the mini NASDAQ. All right, you get some of these really nice trades. And once again, I love short trades, okay? That's why I like trading the indices. So uh, I love uh, putting position on, or putting some size on when it comes to shorts. Anyway, this was an HF2 uh, short coming in uh, right after about 10.30, 10.40, something like that is when I actually initiated the short. Uh, I went ahead and I added in. The reason I added in is because everything was still weak and I was seeing selling coming in. So I went ahead and I added to my short position. Finally got out around 11.30 or so. Took my profit. But then let me show you what else we did here. We did come back. And I came back right over here. Now this was around 2.30 again. Once again, I'm going for that single target. Don't want to go too far into it. Being late in the day, I probably could have hit some additional targets, but like I said, coming into late in the day in the afternoon, going for that single target. I typically will also do that in the morning, but if I see a lot of weakness coming in, I'll try to go for a further out target because it gives me a little more time to play into it. This case was a beautiful HF1, one of my favorite patterns on an HF1 short. Took the eighth HF1 short, wasn't in this, but maybe 30 minutes, finally hit my target down here and exited. And I did get out. So those were the only two trades that I made. Once again, I am only trading indices. Remember, I've been trading these for 40 years now. So I really understand the indices. It's, I feel really comfortable trading uh, the E-mini S&P, um, trading the NASDAQ. You know, any of these indices, I really like. The only one I'm not a big fan of is the mini Dow. So you're not going to see me doing a whole lot on the mini Dow, But the E-mini, mini Russell... Um, e mini S and P, mini Russell, mini Nasdaq. Uh, if I see a trade, I will take it. Now today, I did have some trades uh, in the mini Russell. Unfortunately, uh, I did not take those, and it had um, about three trades. All would have been winners, but unfortunately, I was just too busy managing what I had and, and dealing with some of our subscribers. Uh, I missed a couple additional trades. Could have had just a huge day today, but nonetheless, still did all right. Coming in on the mini NASDAQ, making 1400 and uh, 1100 on the mini S&P. Folks, I'm telling you right now, the markets are hard. A lot of volatility in here. A lot of stuff going on. Great time to be trading. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can do this. Um, if you don't have a lot of funds, I'm going to suggest that you start with something like 
trading on the Nadex exchange. You can still trade uh, with Pell Knockouts, very similar to trading spot, except you don't have those huge margin requirements, okay? But once again, before you do any kind of trading, particularly if you're new to my style of trading, never start with real money. Give yourself several months, trade in a simulator, trade in a demo account, make sure you can become profitable, get the emotions out of the way, get them under control, be confident in the patterns. Once again, these patterns have been um, uh, extremely reliable, been working for uh, 40 years now, and they work in everything. So I'm highly confident in my patterns, which allows me to put on size because I understand what the probabilities are. And that's a big factor when it comes to trading. Got to believe in what you're trading with, right? You got to believe in the tools that you have. If you don't have good tools, then it's very hard to be a profitable trader because you're not going to believe in uh, in what you're seeing. So, uh, that being said, um, I can't teach you this method. The best way to do it is join my um, Discord channel. Watch it, okay? Watch me trade. It's only fifty dollars a month. You can watch me trade. You don't have. To, uh, I don't have to teach you my strategy. If you just want to follow along, watch me trade, you can certainly do that. If you want to learn my strategy that uh, that I've been using for the last 40 years, we will teach you that as well. Um, but anyhow, that's how we ended up with today. So tomorrow's Friday. Once again, very unpredictable on Fridays. Hey, if we have good action in the morning, I'm definitely going to be taking advantage of it. But Fridays, I tend to be a little bit more cautious going into the afternoon. Most of my trades are going to be in the very first part of the day. Uh, I may not do any end of the day trading. So around afternoon, after 12 o'clock, I may not be putting on any trades. Just depending on the action. If it starts to slow down, I'm going to be able to tell that it's probably going to be slow in the afternoon as well. Very seldom do you have, you know, a lot of volatility in the morning and then the afternoon. Um, you know, it also, uh, it starts to, um, it continues on through the afternoon. So... Typically, if it starts slowing down around noontime, it's probably going to be the same going into the close of the day. So anyway, we'll just have to wait and see. Once again, join me every morning, first 30 minutes, open to everybody. After that, I move over to Discord and continue to trade with my subscribers where they can watch me and watch my charts, call my trades, and answer questions. So anyway, it's a good way to uh, track me. And the seeing is believing, folks. So join me in Discord. Like I said, $50 a month, no obligation. But I think when you see it, you're going to be convinced that what I have is really something special. Like I said, I've been doing this for 40 years. So this is not something that I developed overnight. And it certainly has been through the ups and downs of the markets. All right. So I'm not just a trader that's been trading in a bull market. I've been in all kinds of markets. So, uh, and these patterns have done well in all markets. So that says a lot for the stability of the patterns. All right, that's it. Everybody have a good day. And uh, any questions, you can uh, contact me via my website, InnovativeTradingStrategies.com. Check out all my YouTube uh, videos as well. And hopefully we'll see you first thing tomorrow morning. Take care.